from my side and let me share the screen. Okay. So here, if you go to the machine, those who are not getting, okay. So this is home, right? Go to virtual machines. Go to the machine. Okay. For this machine, it is already enabled and go to this machine. Okay. And here, go to networking option. There you can see network interface, right? Select this network interface. There you will get network security group. Here network security group is none, right? So select any of this RG. You will have your own RG, whatever RG you can see, you can select that option. Then automatically you will get this one. Okay. So if you just click save, then you will get the inbound rules, outbound rules and all. It's clear. And you have to click on save option here. And 99% is again RDP port will be enabled by default. Okay. So it will be enabled. No need to enable all these things. No issues. Okay. And now you can see, right? Earlier for GPAD, there are no uh, ports and all. You cannot see inbound rules, outbound rules. Once you just selected that option, go to GPA, the server name. Network interface, if you go to that option, whatever you can see, don't ask, sir, I cannot see GPAD. GPAD is my machine name, okay? You can see your own machine name AD, okay? AD or something around. So you can see like that and you can click on that. There you can see network interface group, network security group. There you have to change. None will be there by default. You have to change with your uh, RG, whatever RG resource group you have created, you have to change. Then you can see that ports and all, okay? Inbound and outbound rules. Clear? Any issues, any doubts, everyone? Is it clear, guys? And if you are unable to log into the server remotely by just giving the IP address, simply what you have to do, guys, here? What Every you have to do? Yeah, add your 3389, yes. 3389, sir. Yes, 3389 is fixed port number. No need to change it. Don't. Uh, Change depends upon the machine to machine. RDP means 3389 only. Okay. So you can simply give 3389 and you can try. Hamalalta, can you try with 3389? Try and let me know. Okay. In the meanwhile, we'll discuss. Okay. Right. Fine. Let me go to the server again. And yesterday we just discussed it, right? How to install SQL Server and how to work with this and how to install Management Studio. Right, Management Studio actually up to 2014. Management Studio is an inbuilt tool. You have to choose management tools so that you will get Management Studio also along with the um, SQL Server. While during SQL Server installation itself, you can choose that management tool so that uh, no need to install SSMS separately. And you can use that SSMS will be installed automatically during installation up to 2014. From 2016 onwards, it was separated. You have to separately download SSMS and you have to install the SSMS separately. Okay, so what is the shortcut for SSMS? SS. Okay. SS. SS. Or SSMS. SSMS. Uh, same. SSMS, but uh, it is still uh, not working. So SS. So, for the versions less than 2014 or less than or equal to 2014. Okay, you can use SSMS from 2016 onwards. Simply just type Windows button. SS. ESS. Okay, just type ESS. Still, if you're unable to get it, there are some operating system. What you have to do, you have to simply go to each folder, program files, each folder. Anyone installed uh, Windows 2016? Anyone installed Windows 2016? Windows 2016. Okay, that's fine. If you if you are not installed, no no problem. Okay, so sometimes in the Windows 2016, what you have to do is like once you hit the Windows button, it will be like this. Let me show you in my local desktop. Okay, so you will get a folders like this. Okay, you will get a folders like this in the Windows 2016. Still, if SS is not working, go down, go down, go to Microsoft SQL Server. Okay, you can see right Microsoft SQL Server. You can just click on this uh, uh, down down arrow. There also you can see Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, so in case if SSMS is not working, there are two reasons. Okay, if you are unable to see Management Studio means either Management Studio is not installed. Okay, either Management Studio is not installed or you are not using the proper keys. 
okay so the key combination is hit the windows button just type ss okay if you are not getting ssc here here also you can see management studio is on top but for the first time if it is a new server and all sometimes we cannot get like that you have to directly go to the folder microsoft sql server folder in the start menu and then you can drop down click on the drop down and then you can simply select where is it microsoft sql server yeah you can go down you can drop down and you can use this option okay so this is how you have to okay open the management studio and all sometimes if you don't see management studio means management studio is not installed for 2017 management studio is not installed and for 2019 also management studio is not installed can i connect can i use my 2016 management studio to connect to my 2017 and 2019 instances yes yes are you sure yes are yes. you sure yes sir are you yes, sure sir. no guys yes sir okay so the answer is yes we can connect okay so you can use the management studio is a one tool which will help us to connect to the running sql servers only very important running sql server servers only if the person is alive you can talk if the person is like if he dead can you talk it can you talk to him right you cannot right in the same way right if the server the database engine is up and running to that instance only you can connect to the you can connect by using your management studio management studio is a client yesterday we discussed the client server architecture every application is a client server architecture model so client means your management studio using your client you can connect to multiple servers guys okay it's not like one sql server one management studio it's just a client using that client you can connect to multiple sql servers like phone smartphone smartphone is a client you can call to multiple persons right in the same way using one management studio you can connect to multiple sql servers right so once you just open management studio you will get window like this okay what i have to choose under server type i have to choose database engine only why because 99 percentage our work will be there on database engine only we have to connect to database engine only sir what other options will be there you can see analysis services if you want to connect to analysis services you can connect to analysis services by selecting like this you have to give the server name analysis services server name you have to give if you want to connect to reporting services you have to choose reporting services and if you want to connect to integration services you have to choose integration services and these are the azure integration services okay so we don't usually use this option 99 percentage will use this option might be one or two percentage depends upon the projects if you have analysis services reporting services integration services and all then might be there is a chance to connect so this is how you have to select your server type should be database engine server name guys batch 41 okay why batch 41 i did not give any name why it took batch 41 the mistake yes sorry in the default issues it uh, it will take uh, machine name yes okay so batch 41 is my machine name that's why it took batch 41 okay batch 41 is my machine name that's why it took guys again don't think uh, oracle vm also there is a different uh, management studio on, okay nothing like that the same interface i am using from azure vm that's it you can see once your machine is ready your oracle machine is ready you can also see same things okay don't think again i'll explain in the oracle vm same that's what yesterday or day before yesterday from the beginning of the classes we are discussing if the server is installed in your laptop using oracle vm that is your oracle virtual machine on prem vm you can call it as on prem on premises on prem means what on premises on premises means that is under your control once you shut down your laptop the vm also will be shut down one more vm we have cloud vm okay if you are creating vm in the cloud like azure aws and all that is a cloud vm we are using azure right so this is azure vm okay so the things are same once the server is ready either it is a, either it can be a azure vm or it can be on prem vm things are same there is no difference not even a single point also all the things all the options are same to same okay right so once you open management studio automatically server name will be pulled up you can see this is your computer name machine name 
and you can Sorry. see here authentication yes any questions chal sorry to cut no you uh, if any uh, so suppose like we are not giving rdp uh, access to uh, mm. any uh, application developer uh, suppose mm. we we want them to uh, install the ssms in his laptop very okay? good very good uh -huh. and uh, he want to access this uh, so there is no way he can access with windows authentication right no way no we need way. to I'll... give only yes we have okay. to give only okay. sql server authentication that i'll explain in the security concept oh. okay okay now you will be confused okay so uh, now i don't want to explain about this windows authentication sql server authentication in the security i'll explain how application people will connect to the sql server okay 99 percentage we don't give rdp access to application team okay those who are maintenance activities they will only have RDP access like Windows team, SQL DBA team and all. Application users and all, they don't have, they don't get RDP access. They will connect to the SQL server using a different methodology that is called SQL server authentication. That I'll explain in the security concept. You will get better idea. Okay. So as of now, I'll choose only Windows authentication. If you choose Windows authentication, it is not asking my name, right? Agree? Then while connecting, of course, without having a login name, we cannot connect, right? So which login it will use to connect to the server? Which login it will use to connect to the server? The login which we given is current user. Uh, Windows authentication. Okay. Okay. So, right. So if you have that question, while logging to this main machine, doing rdp while doing rdp you gave one username right b41 admin and password right so that means you logged in as b41 admin earlier if you remember while installing the sql server we selected add current user option earlier also yesterday also we just logged into this machine by using this username only once you clicked on add current user it just created a login Okay, batch 41 admin in the SQL server. Don't think if I choose Windows authentication as it is not asking username and password, everyone can connect. Only this person can connect. B41 admin only can connect. Agree, everyone? Only this person, username you cannot edit. If you choose Windows authentication, username you cannot edit, but don't think it is connecting without username. It is connecting with username only. That username is grayed out. It's simply locked. Why it was grayed out, sir? As you logged in with the B41 admin, okay, Windows side, you have already logged in with the B41 admin. So automatically the username will be taken as B41 admin, right? Daniel connected to this machine with his credentials, B41 Daniel. Then if Daniel opens SSMS, he will get B41 Daniel here, right? Right, Hama connected to this machine using her name. See, Hama used this credentials B41 admin, then Hama will get B41 admin only. What account you are using to log into the machine, automatically username will be that account only. If Hama is connecting with her name, B41 Hama here, okay, then here also in the username section also you will get B41 Hama. Why both are same, sir? This is computer name. This is login name. Okay. Bad, not same actually. This is, if you, if you see here, this is batch 41 computer name. And this is your login name. Batch 41 admin is the login name. Always Windows logins will be like this only. Computer name backslash login name. Batch 41 is your computer name. Batch 41 admin is your login name. And if you click connect, why I'm able to connect again? Again, don't misunderstand the concept. It's very important. Very important. Windows authentication, if you choose Windows authentication, it is not asking username and password means don't think everyone can connect. Agree or not? Everyone, please. Yes, sir. You agree? Yes, sir. Why? Because as I am yes, connected sir. using B batch 41, B41 admin, that B41 admin is already having access. If you want, you can see here. Okay, go to security. Go to logins. See here, batch, batch 41 machine slash B41 admin. As this login is already there, that's why I'm, I'm able to log into the SQL server. Someone deleted this login, I cannot connect to the SQL server. I'll get the error. 
so clear while about. installing uh, yes. we gave uh, some users hmm. right? add current uh, users that, yes. that that uh, that is created in login slips very good yes while so, installing uh, there are three options okay add current user option add add option also will be there if you click on add current user it will create a login those who are installing with which account you install to the machine okay it will create a login to that account if you click on add current user option if you select add button it will ask it will ask to which i have to give access to whom i have to give access then you have to give the names then only it will take the names then only a, a login entries will be created here for all of them a login entries will be created here those people only can connect to the sql server now i have already logged into the yesterday we gave an example also if you are in a room you can open the door so that outside people can come inside the room but all are outside outside of the room no one is there inside the room who can open the door you don't have locks you don't have sorry you don't have keys you cannot do forcefully you cannot break the door and all it's not possible with sql server sir there is an option we can break the door sir or else we can remove that uh, what is what is that called you can remove that lock sir you can break the lock sir that is not permitted in the sql server very highly secured okay so as yesterday you just add that user add current user so that's why it just created a login for him and you are able to login now if someone logged into this machine now if teja logged into this machine teja will get his username b41 teja okay but while connecting here also you will get b41 teja is b41 teja available in this list no no teja won't no. access the sql server won't connect to the sql server he can't connect to the sql server agree everyone is it clear yes sir yes any okay. issues any doubts guys please how windows authentication will work windows authentication will work based on your username that you have logged into the windows machine okay you cannot edit it if you choose sql server authentication there is a chance to give you username and password separately but sql logins are different than windows logins don't think both are same sir now i can give b41 teja okay i can give b41 password that is not possible now he can log in if i create a login for teja he can log in now okay but there is a different uh, kind of access that i'll explain in the security concept what is login what is user what is authentication what is authorization what is principal what is securable what is read only permissions what are read write permissions what are server roles what are database roles okay everything will be discussed in the security concept how to give access to the database to a user how to give access to a table okay for a user so all these things will be explained discussed in the security concepts is it clear right who can connect to my sql server while connecting this is connect button guys this is disconnect button okay if you want you can disconnect the server once your work is completed you can disconnect it you can disconnect at any time no issues at all connect means simply you are trying to connect to the existing running machine that's it if you don't want your work is completed you can disconnect it right clear right so let me connect and let me give the server name you can as discussed you can give server names here and you can connect to the server okay let me connect to this machine now can i connect to the multiple instances yes happily i can connect okay connect button this time i am sorry this time what i am going to do i'll simply give dot okay sir i have a doubt sir yes yes uh, sir while installing itself can i add multiple people as of course user? of course there is one more button right uh, near to the add current user there is an option add button just add button yeah there if you yeah. click on add button you can give multiple users while installing itself so that okay. all people those who are added during installation all people can connect to the sql server uh, is there any minimum people like a minimum not minimum or... see at least one person should be there as discussed maximum is 32000 Okay. Okay. There is a number called magic figure in the SQL Server, thirty-two thousand seven sixty-seven. That many logins you can create in SQL Server. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah. So I'm just giving dot. Can I connect? Can I click on connect button? If I give dot, can I click on connect button so that can I connect to the SQL Server now? Yes. 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 Yes.
dot itself is running. Right. Okay. So let me check whether I can connect or not. I can connect. But where is the server name, sir? Here you can see batch 41 server name. Here you cannot see any server name. Where is the server name, sir? Let me connect uh, to another instance. Okay. Local. Okay. So not like this. What I have to do, I have to keep it in a brackets. Or else let me do one thing. Local host. Right. Or else let me come to one more instance. Local. Okay. So how many instances I have installed, guys? I hope someone already watched my video, so that's fine. Okay, if you know the answer, okay, you can be <laughs> calm. Let, let them try. Okay. How many instances I have installed in my machine? After looking the screen, what do you think? How many instances I have installed in this machine, in this Windows machine? How many SQL Server instances are there? One, two, one, four. Only. One, four. <clears throat> only one, sir. No, I need answers from everyone. How many instances installed in this machine? Please respond in the chart. One, one. two, three, four. Chart, chart, chart. Dinesh said four. Okay. And who else? Kishore said four. All people responded uh, four, four, four. Everyone responded, guys. Shiva Prasad, Shiva Pidridi, four. Let me check. I'll ask if you don't respond, I'll ask. Seventy one. Where is Kusma? Seventy Shiva Pedridi, not seventy, sorry. Hama four Shiva Pedridi four Dinesh four Kishore four. Okay, okay, fine. Everyone responded. Kusma, now you responded. Okay, mm. okay, so the answer is those who said four. Right or wrong? It's wrong answer. Okay. Those who said one, it's right answer. Guys, okay, you have to listen carefully. Myself, Shanmuk, right? Right? I have a lot of other names also. Agree? Of course, everyone will have different, different, different names. In your home, you will have one name. Okay? Uh, legal documents, you will have one name. Okay? Your parents will call with uh, another name. So that means, for example, okay, if Dinesh is there, Dinesh will have, okay, four names. Dinesh friends will call with a different name. Dinesh parents will call with a different name. Uh, Dinesh, I hope, uh, I don't know whether you married or not. Your wife will call with a different name in case if you married or if you have, okay, girlfriend, your, your girlfriend or wife will, will call with a different name. Okay, in case, okay, if you have kids, they will call with a different name and all. So the same Dinesh, Okay, people are calling him in a different, different names. Dinesh is same. Here, only one single person is there. People are calling with a different names. So, Dinesh might be called with a two names or three names or four names. That doesn't mean four Dinesh are there. Dinesh is only one person, but he is having multiple names. That's why, okay. So, in case if you are calling Dinesh with another name also, how can he respond as that is his name? Okay. So that is how actually he was habituated to call. So in that way, Dinesh is having multiple names. Simply here, one point is everyone will have multiple names. In the same way, for default instance, there are multiple ways to connect. Okay. Computer name you can give. That is also default instance. Simply dot you can give. That is also default instance. Local host you can give. That is also default instance. Local you can give, that is also default instance. Okay. So that means you are connected to the same instance in four ways with these four names. Is it clear, guys? So don't think I have four instances here. 
I have only one instance. I am connecting to this instance with four names. I can connect to the default instance with multiple names. Almost six or seven names are there. Okay, so regularly we can see these names in the organization. So if you see dot, don't ask where is the server name. Don't ask your uh, colleague. Hey, where is the server name? How you connected to this? By just giving a dot or where is the server name? I cannot see the server name. Don't ask like that. That means he's simply connected to the default instance. Okay, so here you just connected to the same server with the different different names. That's it. Clear, guys, everyone. I have only one server, guys. I don't have multiple servers. And one more thing, once you install, let me disconnect all the other instances. Disconnect, disconnect, disconnect. So disconnect cause any issue, guys. Will disconnect restart the server or shut down the server SQL server? Disconnect no. cause any issues? No, no, sir. no, no, no. Okay, so simply disconnect means it will disconnect from the tool. That's it. Server will be up and running. Nothing will happen to your server. Once your work is there, you can connect. If your work is completed, you can disconnect. Okay, so this is how we can connect to the instances and all. And again, yesterday, okay, let me show you how many services. Once you just installed a server, how many services uh, it will be created? Once you installed one SQL Server instance, how many services will be created, guys? Where I can see the services, first of all? Services.msc. Services.msc. Okay, so open MSC. your services.msc. Just keep it in an alphabetical order in case if they are in zigzag order. Sometimes you can see like this zigzag order and all or else sometimes you can see like this, okay? Zigzag order. Just click on the name, it will come in the alphabetical order. Uh, just press any service and type yes. You can see all the services that starts with yes. And here you can see. Okay. So if you see here, let me expand this column. This is how we have to expand the columns. And let me expand more, little bit more. Right. So you can see here, you can see here, there are services. Okay. SQL full text service in the brackets, you can see the name. SQL Server, MS SQL Server, in the brackets, you can see the name. SQL Server Agent, in the brackets, you can see the name. Browser Service, CIP Server, CIP Service, I'm sorry. Uh, VSS Writer Service. So, guys, you can see here total how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you install one instance, you will get uh, 6 services. Agree, everyone? Is it clear? If you install one instance, you will get 6 services. Mathematical question to all of you. If I install three instances, how many services I'll get? 18. One no, instance, no, I got six services. If I install three instances, how many services I'll get? 18 instances. I need answers from everyone. Oh, I need answers from everyone. Everyone, chart, chart, chart. Six. Chart, 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 chart. So, Muthu, even though I have one instance, I'll have six services. Even though if I have three instances, I'll have six services only. That is your answer, I hope. Question, Muthu. Nine, six, okay. Same six only. Pranit, six only. Lakshmi, 18. Three different instances, guys. Okay, three different. Don't misunderstand my question. Instance name is different. So that's why even though you can connect multiple in see, even though you can connect to a server with multiple names, that is one server only. But services are different. 6, 12, 18, 6, same. I can see a lot of, uh, okay. No answers, same, 6, 6. A lot of people said 6 only. Okay, that's fine. Some people said 18 also. Okay, that's also fine. Some people said same, 6 only. Okay, that's fine. All right. So then let me explain. In that case, I have to explain now. Guys, so if you install six services, if you install one SQL server, one SQL server, you will get six services, right? Six services, I'm sorry, six services. Right. In these six services, if you see in these six services, if everyone carefully observed or not, there is a difference. What is the difference between this service and this service? This service and just don't tell any other names. Just yes. why you can see a difference, right? In this service and in this service. 
What is the difference? A common difference. Distance name, name is not distance name. name. Very good. Okay. Distance distance so, name. small differences in the brackets. You can see something. Whereas for this service, you don't see anything. Agree. While installing SQL Server, I gave you PG example. If you are staying in a PG, you are going to write your name on the plate you are using. Agree? Right? You don't find any name on the washing machine. You don't find any name on the fridge. Agree, everyone? That means what those services? Shady what are those services? Yes. Who? 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 Who said first? One girl I, said first. Who is that? Shravanti. Shravanti. Very good. Okay. Let me give you one point, Shravanti. Okay. Where is the performance tracker? Okay. So those services are called shared services. Okay, so you don't see any name. Okay, that means those are all shared services. You can see there are two shared services here. So next time when you install one more instance, are these services are going to be created again? Someone no, said sir. 18. Someone said 18. How they said 18? 16 to 3, so 18. So next time when you install the SQL server, we discussed right while installing, we'll have specific features, shared features, shared features. Once you install, next time no need to install. <laughs> These are shared services. Agree? These services will exist only once per Windows machine. Instant. Not instance. Instance is your SQL server. These services will exist once per Windows machine, whole Windows machine. Agree? Right? What are the specific services, sir? You can see the services that are there with the name in the brackets. Those are specific services. So in these six services, how many shared, how many specific? Four and two, two shared. Very good. Okay. Two shared and four specific. Four specific and two shared services. Agree? Very good. Now tell me, guys, you are installing three inst you install three instances. Now tell me how many services you will get now. Fourteen. 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 So three into every instance, you will get four specific services. Three into four, sorry, three into four is equal to 12. Mm -hmm. And then two more will be added. Two is common. Once you install for the first time, you will get this two. So two plus 12, how many services you will get? Now, what is the answer? I need answers from everyone. You know the answer 14, 14. but type it, type it, 14. type it. Okay, so fine. Fastest fingers first. Now we can stop typing. I'll ask one question. I have installed nine instances in my machine. How many services I'll get? Fastest fingers first. 38. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, yes, 38. Lakshmi 38, Shravanti 38, Daniel 38. How many instances I asked? Nine, right? Nine. Nine. Then why 38? 28. Why right, 38, guys? 9436 plus 2 default. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Are you sure, everyone? Yes, 38 sir, is correct yes. answer. Okay. So, 38 is correct answer. Right. Uh, first of all, let me check who is the correct answer. First time 38, 38, 38, 230. Raviteja, why 230? Raviteja? 9 into 6. Uh, even 9, 6 is also not 230, right? It's uh, mistake, sir, huh? it's having mistake, sir. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine. Agreed. Okay, Satish Reddy. Satish Reddy is the winner, guys. And someone started video. Please, someone started video. Who, who, who started video?
I guess, I guess, Raviteja, your video is started, sir. Right, very good. Okay, so Satish, Satish, Satish. Who is there in the race? Can anyone tell me? I'm sorry, one, right? Kusuma, Chandrakant, Satish, you three people are there in the race. Right, okay, fine. Let me save it. Okay, done. So now clear, right? So whenever you install one instance, you will get for the first time, you will get six services, four specific and two shared. Next time onwards, four, four services will be added. Agree? Agree? Next time onwards, four, four services will be added directly. Four services will be added if you install one more copy. And how to identify whether a service is a specific or shared by using the name in the brackets. Okay, in the brackets, you can find the name. So by using this name, that means these are specific services, means these four services, next time you install one more instance, okay, some Amazon instance you installed. Can anyone uh, tell me all the four specific services for Amazon instance? Tell me all the specific four services for Amazon instance. I need complete service name. You can unmute and you can tell me. I have installed my instance name is Amazon. Now tell me the four specific services of Amazon. SQL full text SQL server SQL server agent SQL server No 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 I, I want complete name sir I want complete name of those services I want complete name uh, SQL server DB uh -huh. database engine hmm. uh, SQL server replication No 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 no, no. See that. Okay, SQL server bracket. Bracket Amazon very server agent bracket SQL full text filter diamond launcher Amazon SQL oh. server Amazon it's SQL server also. agent Amazon SQL Server, CIP Server, CIP Service, Amazon in the brackets. Clear, everyone? Amazon. Yes. Okay. Right. Yes. So this is how you can see four more services will be added from the second instance onwards. So you can see like that. So now I have only one instance. How can I save only one instance? 